In this video, we're going to talk about the main types of skeletal muscle contraction, the isometric contraction and the isotonic contraction. And the example we're going to use is uh, a pair of arm wrestlers, and we're going to focus on the muscles in one of those arm wrestlers. Now, in A over here at the left, right, we're at rest, and we're going to use our hill model here in the center to sort of examine what's happening in these muscles. And at rest, the contractile elements are inactive. We're not generating cross bridges, which means we're not pulling on our series elastic element. There's no tension in that series elastic element. The parallel elastic element over here on the left is neither stretched nor compressed at this point. Now, if we say go, and our, our wrestlers are initially at a stalemate, in other words, no one's really winning, what's going to happen is our wrestler is going to be generating tension in the, in the contractile elements, sarcomeres are, are shortening, um, but what's going to happen is our series elastic is going to stretch to the same degree that the contractile elements shorten. As you can see, our muscle length here, has overall muscle length, has not changed, right? So we're generating tension, but no one's moving, right? So the muscles can't be shortening yet. Now, uh, after that, we, our wrestler is going to begin to win here in, in C. And what happens is the tension being generated here is now enough to overcome the resistance down here that our, our opponent is generating. And so the whole muscle will shorten. That's referred to as isotonic concentric, right? We're generating the same amount of tension, but now we're winning. And so our muscle is shortening, right? That's a concentric contraction. Then our, our opponent tries a little bit harder and all, we, we, we reach a stalemate again here in D. Right? And so once again, we become isometric, iso meaning same, metric meaning length. So we stop shortening again, right? But we, we're now in a shortened state. Uh, we still have tension on our series elastic. Our, our sarcomeres are still um, contracting. Our cross bridges are cycling, but they're not gaining ground on the thin filament, right? So we're sort of like grabbing and releasing and grabbing and releasing, but not shortening the sarcomeres. Then finally, over here in E, our opponent uh, generates more tension than we do. And what's going to happen is we're going to start to lengthen this overall muscle again. And that's an isotonic eccentric contraction, right? We're still generating tension, but now the muscle is lengthening overall. There's still tension on the series elastic element, still stretched because we're still contracting here but we're losing ground on the thin filaments now, right? We're actually lengthening those sarcomeres. And so the overall muscle will lengthen, the parallel elastic will be stretched, and eventually we will lose our bout to our opponent here. 